Good morning friends, Pinterest Family Farm Set here. I wanted to take you in the garden and show you what is growing. Let's see. We've got some peas going on right here. And finally some calendula have started to bloom. Now you can take these seeds and use them or just kind of throw them around if you want more calendula right here. Something's gone right there. So these peas right here are kind of drying out. It's getting the end of their life. Been eaten up pretty good. And so you just have to pull them off if they're ready. These are kind of drying out. So we have, have lots and lots of tomatoes. I cannot wait for these to ripen. They're starting to lighten on the bottom. Hopefully we'll start seeing some red on them soon. I've already harvested two peppers. Okay, there we go. There's some peppers. These pots of garlic are really great to help keep predator pressure down. And marigolds. I grew from seeds. These are native to Texas sage. These are pineapple sage. First year that I've seen those or had those. There's some French lavender over there. Notice how I have these attached to bamboo and kind of going at a sideways angle because this was not done very well. For one, it should have been in the middle where the middle point is right here which is about six foot tall. Um, being an indeterminate variety, these will get extremely tall and to the point where I will cut the ends off. We've got one tomato here and I don't know the names of any of the tomatoes because I took them out and um, did not put the labels with them when we had a frost. This is actually my first year to grow from seeds, so lots of trial and error. Also, first year trying out the raised garden beds, which I will tell you on another video why I don't prefer raised garden beds. Got one strawberry in there. See all the tomatoes. These are Roma tomatoes. And I believe these are Green Envy. That is stevia. These are some tomatoes that I pruned. I also have one right here that I pruned. You see the mushrooms in here? We have, we use mushroom compost. I really don't know much about mushrooms, so I don't know if those are edible or not. Most of them that I looked up said not edible. This is lemon balm, which is a really good relaxing herb that you can make tea from. More mushrooms. Oh, and in the back of there is wild uh, berries that actually rooted up from the very bottom of this. I cut it down and they went through the cardboard, <laughs> through all the dirt. Very hardy little uh, vine there. And that's some herbs and rosemary. These are all companion plants to keep the bug pressure down. This is one of my three potato beds. The first one should be ready about a week after Mother's Day. The second one about a week after that because I planted them, secession planted them. Lots of more mushrooms. Anyone know what kind of mushrooms these are, if they're edible or not? This is what I love to see, the little runner from the mat. Look at that, that means it's super happy. I have pruned a lot of this off and put it in different spots that needed some chickens or hatching an egg. This is lemongrass and more tomatoes that I pruned. Strawberries. Mr. Blair. Lemon balm and some ever-bearing strawberries. Peppermint. Large leaf basil, more strawberry, or more tomatoes. We are just waiting for them to ripen. Well, this is one bed that's right by the chicken coop. 
They are now free ranging. Let's go to the front bed and see what we have going. Okay, we're in the front garden bed. Let's see what we have growing in here. This is the very first potato bed that I did. And it also has some dill, some beets, and carrots are in there too. So here is the potato bed. It's a red um, deter yeah, it's a red determent variety, which means it only grows so tall. So we're just waiting for the leaves to go to flower and then die back. As you can see, there's a lot of predator pressure in here. I've seen lots and lots of roly polies in here. And then we have watermelon, and you can see a mushroom there. And these pots have garlic and onions in there because there was lots of ants that were eating the watermelon. You can see the cardboard that is, we're trying to cardboard down the weeds. And that's what all this is right here. Just taking topsoil and we're bringing it over here and then we'll add mulch to it. That's for all the, now if I was going to plant seeds in there, I would plant the seeds first, let the seeds sprout before I put any mulch on top or just do light mulch. Strawberries are doing really good. We've got lots of runners and that means that that's going to produce another strawberry plant where the runner is. It's very, very cool. So we have three going in here. All of our lettuce, unfortunately, is not doing well. This was some that I planted in November. And it went to seed, and I was hoping that it would grow more, but it's just not. You gotta love it when you're trying to do a video and the neighbors are doing something, making loud noises. Here is some sage, which is a native. These are just weeds I put in here, or I just let grow, and uh, they're getting eaten by something. There's the bell pepper plant. That is something I transplanted from the back. It's like a flower. And um, lettuce that I planted was eaten. So we have no lettuce now, but we do have some squash two squash in here and I have a trellis so they can trellis up. You want to keep everything off the ground as much as possible. I put this banana here to attract um, butterflies. Beautiful to see the butterflies in here. Now notice this, this is on the ground. Look at this. This must be butterfly poop. I really don't know if anyone knows what this is. It's green. It looks like green poop. I've never seen that before. Um, there's a red wasp. Here is some lemon basil and lots of garlic. This is a wild uh, yellow dock. Oh look, it has a grasshopper on it. I wonder if that's eating stuff. If, if That's probably what is eating my lettuce. Oh goodness, lots of predators. This is cilantro that has went to seed and is now drawn out. But, as you can see, there's more bolting on the bottom. And this is some um, mojito spearmint that, when it starts growing up tall, what you can do is just cover it like that, and it will put out new uh, roots. And then we got some.